Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Sunday Quickie. A uh, little bit of deja vu, actually. I can definitely remember being in this car park filming the Sunday Quickie, and I can definitely remember Eddie Rowe going to bash on this window. He might do any second now. Um, I am at my old home club, West Cornwall, and I'm here to do a little bit of filming with Eddie this morning. You may not see the video, you may do. Um, it's a mystery video. I have no idea what it's about. I, I basically put a message onto the Buccaneers WhatsApp group and said, anyone got any ideas for some videos? And um, Eddie said, yes. Hmm. It's not in what's in the bag, but it might be something a bit different. It could either be fantastic or it could be an absolute disaster. Um, we shall see. Hopefully you'll see that later this week. Uh, so very quickly, because it is a, is a Sunday quickie today, really. Since the golf day, and thank you very much for all your support, um, not only on the day, before the day, and the people that donated after the day, uh, it was an amazing event. And um, Kelly and I have pretty much recovered now. The house is now sorted. The rest of the boxes are all gone. And we're kind of getting back to kind, kind of normality. So I'm back editing in the studio. Um, if you've not seen the full length video yet, it's an epic. It is. Uh, that took some editing, I'll tell you. Um, but they do say that the, the app I've got or the system that I've got can make films. Yeah, that's an hour and a half long. Okay. But uh, I think it came out really well. I think I edited it pretty well for me. And uh, a lot of people have enjoyed it so far. So take a look. We'll show you the uh, details and um, go and take a look if you haven't seen it yet. It's, it's a really good video. It's in chapters, so you can jump to pieces if you want, or you can stop in various parts and then go back. You probably need to. Uh, we raised £2,000. And and that's just mind mind boggling for me. Really, uh, that surpassed the money raised last year. Um, I never expected to raise that this year. What with COVID and the situation and you know, people struggling financially, etc. Um, but we did, and uh, the money's already with prostate cancer. I've already sent the money to them. It's all been done. And uh, this week on the channel, because of that, uh, you will see another video. Uh, Kelly and I sat down, had a rest a little think about what happened on the day and we created a video called stories from the golf day it's worth watching there is a little bit of behind the scenes things that happened there's some stuff you may have already seen on the big golf day video or not so if you can't watch it yet and there's stuff that you haven't seen um some other people brought in bits of footage that never got onto the uh video itself they weren't on the cutting room floor they just arrived late and i couldn't get them on in time and uh, just some little stories that have just happened. Some are just lovely. Absolutely lovely. So some are a bit quirky. Uh, so watch that this week. Um, so it's a bit of a bitty week on the channel. It's a bit of a bitty week for me filming. We just need to get ourselves back into some kind of regular setup again. So last week, you have now seen five parts of the Alfred Lee Cream Tea Cup Challenge between Neil and Darren. Poor Darren. I know, but I'm encouraging him and I'm trying to get him going. I hope we will get him back on the channel very soon. I'll get him doing some more videos and get him playing some more golf because he just needs a bit more golf, I think. So there's one more part to go. So although it's part six, it's a completely brand new ball game, but it's called a brand new ball game. And uh, I'm involved and I am wearing these. I know, these are my driving glasses. I'm in the car and they're my now golf glasses. So... Let's see how I get on. Yeah? I'm not going to tell you anything, but it really is worth watching. I know people say that on YouTube all the time. Oh, watch our video. It's fantastic. Watch ours. It's the best ever. For me, it's really worth watching. So that will go on on Monday or Wednesday. I think on Monday we're going to put the uh, Golf Day stories on because I think that just that rolls in with the rest of the whole golf day theme and kind of finishes the golf day for us on the channel for now. Thank you very much to people like Josh uh, and Wayne Dewey. And I know Rogue Golfers are doing a video. Some of those videos are already out. So go and look, go and look at Josh Bell's video. Go and look at Wayne's video. He's done part one so far. I think part two is due to come out soon. And uh, obviously Rogue Golfers be doing theirs and they're just amazing for just creating those videos for me and uh, promoting the event really. So obviously go on to them, take a look at them and go and subscribe. There's a whole bunch of YouTubers that took part on the day and uh, 
if you've watched a big channel, the big video, hopefully you'll see quite a few of those. And um, I'll try and list them on a, on a video very soon. I'll try and do a, a video to thank all the YouTubers, big and small, that took part. And uh, because I think they're really worth supporting, they've supported me. So I'm going to support them back and get you, hopefully, to go and subscribe to them too. Um, so that will go out this week. Uh, the said the sixth part of the Alfred Lee, and maybe this video. It's a kind of a busy week. Uh, we've got some of the Dead Man's Bags videos created. I want to create a few more, so I'm going to hopefully try to do some more of those this week, if I can grab some of the Buccaneers to do them. I want to do them kind of all in a all in a row, so you get to see them as a kind of a league table and watch each one as they go through. So we need to get a few more of those done. They're in the can, but they just need to be done. And we've also got the week after, I think we're going to put out the Udoc Veen series with Neil and Badger and myself. Uh, racing against against the dark, so that'll be a three part series in two weeks' time. So yeah, so this is a bit of a or a bit of a strange week this week. It's also strange for me because I'm going to be back here on Tuesday. I'm going to be back here at West Cornwall playing as a guest. I'm not a member anymore, obviously, for numerous reasons. No, for one reason. Uh, so I'm going to play as a, a guest. Little Steve's been asking me for ages to come and play, and I kind of miss you know I missed. I miss the people. I miss the people that I, it, take, it took me four years to kind of get involved in a lovely group of people and um, I want to come and play them again. So I'm going to play with, I think, Nick Cooper and with Sean and uh, with little Steve. So that's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to bring a camera, um, make just a fun, gentle video about coming back to West Cornwall just to see what it's like. And I'll be playing in my glasses. So I had some lessons. We'll see, see if I actually think I've improved on the course or not. So we'll do a video about that. So, yeah, let's see. Memberships. I'm, I was up to very recently a member of West, of, uh, West Cornwall, as you know. Um, I've kind of dabbled with being a member of Cape Cornwall, just been paying a monthly subscription, but I don't know if I really need to be a member of anywhere at the moment. I'm quite happy being a kind of nomadic golfer. I'm just wondering how many other people out there are actually just members of clubs and they just stick to one place. Or they rather enjoy the idea of being a nomadic golfer and actually going around and trying different places. And obviously with YouTube and with my limited time to actually play and film, um, I tend to play lots of courses. I don't really feel I need to be a full member of anywhere. Might become a flexible member of somewhere just so I can play a few games with people that I know. But it's not something I need to do all the time. So I don't think I'm going to become a member of anywhere fully for a while. Do you think that's a good idea? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Uh, I also know that England Golf has got this idea now for a handicap system. I think you can pay £40, is it? And uh, then you can still get your handicap. So maybe that's that's one way around it. For me, we shall see. Now, talking of comments, this is quite a big one. We are trying to get to 4,000 subscribers. And obviously, we want to get more than that. I'm not saying we're going to get massive you know, following. We are a niche within a niche. Okay? You know, we're elder statesman i guess of youtube in golf and uh, being high and mid handicappers you know we're not going to be the greatest players ever to watch but hopefully we've got a bit of personality and you can kind of enjoy what we're doing we also live in a fantastic location so we need people to come and watch us now to do this i've decided to set up something called the 100 club what we want you to do is obviously find people to come and subscribe to us and that'd be great and every time we grow another 100 subscribers, I'll do a little giveaway. Now, to be part of that giveaway, you have to make comments on the videos, this one and any others that come along from now on. And as long as you put 100 club after your comment or before it, so we can actually see, let's say, yeah, let's say before it. If you can put 100 club before your comment, we will add you into the list. And then every time we raise another 100 subscribers, I'll do a little draw on the channel and you'll win something. Not saying it's always going to be big things. Sometimes it will be. Sometimes it'll be small things. We get lots of little bits and pieces because of the channel. Uh, obviously, I've got a few things left from the golf day. Um, numerous things like bamboo tees, a few golf balls, bits and pieces that um, didn't end up in the goodie bags that we had just too much of. Flapjacks, got loads of them. Uh, things like that. So, you know, there'll be, there's interesting ball markers I've got. Things that I've collected over the last four years as a YouTuber. Things have just been given to me, things that we've tested out. Give it all back to you, yeah? So, make comments below, 
say 100 club and then whatever comment you want to make on whatever video you're watching and if you can get your friends to subscribe share it around every time we reach another 100 we shall do it so so as i film this and i reckon that's eddie could be could be eddie um we are around 3730 odd so when we get to 3800 3,900, and then 4,000 will give a decent prize, and then we'll keep going every 100, okay? So, like I said, 100 club from now on. Put your comments down. All the comments that get put down with a 100 club tag on them will be included in the draw. Now, talking of Eddie, he did me a really big favour this week. Uh, a lovely couple from Yorkshire who were uh, staying for the uh, golf day. They were staying in Cornwall for another week, and uh, I'd hoped to have gone and played them um, here at West Cornwall. Uh, it was all booked up. Uh, they are called David and Anita Beardsall, and uh, they were lovely. You saw them on the first tee on the videos. They were the, the lovely Yorkshire uh, husband and wife, and they were playing with the other Yorkshire lads. Remember that bit of the story. And uh, I had hoped to play them. Unfortunately, Kelly had a really big fibromyalgia flare-up. It's the kind of thing that we expected to happen after the golf day, just happened a couple of days after. And uh, so she was really rough for a number of days and I was unable to come and play. So I was staying at home being in my carer, which is my usual job. And uh, Eddie, well, Eddie bailed me out. Eddie came and played with them and I think they had a fantastic time. Thank you, Eddie, for these little bits of video. I'll do my best to edit what I can, Eddie. He is learning and he's doing a very good job. Thank you very much to the Buccaneers for doing their best to learn all about YouTube and just being confident enough to have a go. Take a look at this bit of footage. Hello good people, this is Eddie Raw here. This is Lash Up TV. I'm down at West Cornwall, going to play with two guests from Yorkshire, David and Anita, I think they're called. But today they'll be called Boy and Maid, when they do good shots. Okay, this is Lash Up TV. See you soon. John can't be here today, cause Kelly isn't feeling well. All the best, my love. Love and kisses from Eddie and Rob. Here we are at West Cornwall with Dave and Anita. Otherwise, Dave, Anita. Anita. Otherwise known as the boy and the maid in West Cornwall. Hope they enjoy it. I hope I do okay for you, John. I'll speak to you later. Bye. Here we are on the second and Anita the maid is going to tee off. Right, That's all right. All right. Dave on the tee. That's all right. Four left. Four left. Sounded all right. Yeah. All right. Look. Here's the view again. Yeah, Over there, where I live. And over there, if you can see it, where I was born, God's country. Can you can you talk us through your two putts? Seems we made you putt it twice and you got it twice. Well, please. it was just the fact that Dave said I couldn't rather than I could. So I proved him wrong and I did it. Oh. And what a fiver. She didn't tell you that. She didn't tell you that. He buys the posh meal on Thursday night okay. at Kingwood. Okay. <laughs> okay. Why do they call this triangle then? Well, it's like a triangle, isn't it? Hang oh. on a minute. Did right. I miss that? I don't know. Are you on? I'm taping you now, by the way, just so no swearing, please. <laughs> what do you think of it so far? Uh, so far, it's excellent. It's excellent. Same Brilliant. about, Brilliant. Shame about the company. I wish I'd brought this up. Spade. Yeah, so you want a bucket and spade. And you want a 68 degree wedge. And, you, and I want a 68 degree wedge. And I want an Eddie, Eddie Miracle Chipper. 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 It's a cheater. A cheater wedge. Chipper. Well, chipper. Well, I may be selling mine and at the end of the... trying to flog it, mate. I'm trying to flog it. You know me, Darren. But, but we're, from, women, we're from Barnsley. Yorkshire yeah. women have short arms and deep pockets. Long arms, short arms. <laughs> Deep, deep pockets. And Cornish have got we, none pockets at all. Yeah, we can't reach his money. <laughs> okay. And if we can't get it for now, we don't want, want it. it. So, How much? Let it be. Here we are on 
Mr Ogden's favourite hole, but not a hole. He can explain when he edits this, if he ever gets this. The lash up video. And I'm teeing up on Oggy's favourite hole, so I will do it my justice. I will do my best, young man. Try to avoid the bunkers at all costs. That's your best one of the day. And she's done it justice, John. Make sure that goes on. <laughs> Sorry people, you just missed my power putt. 30 foot. Get this in there, you buy chicken flip. Oh, I don't believe that. Oh. If you get this in, you're buying. Five. Mussels and chips. <laughs> right. But outside objects are allowed to touch it. Yeah. I wouldn't say they're a rock group, but. Wait, was alright, you can get that. I'll go this way, I don't know if I'm on camera. I don't know if I'm on camera because I've turned the phone around. Am I on? Yeah, you're on. You're on. This is my last hole because I got walking football tonight, which Big Oggy is going to video sometime. So this is my last hole. And I'd like to say thank you much to my guests for putting up with me. And we, <laughs> and we like said thank you very Thank you very, very much, much, Eddie, for putting up with us. us. <laughs> you must have the patience <laughs> of Job. <laughs> And well a heart done. like a lion. <laughs> a Cornish lion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And a face like a crackpot. White yeah. <laughs> T-shot on the 13th. I don't usually get that close, but there we go. Hi, everybody. That's me just finished. Very nice people, uh, David and Anita, I must say. And what I would say, in my opinion, Yorkshire people are the closest to Cornish people. Very sorry, small Steve, but that's what I think. Lovely couple. We could only play 15 because Anita was getting a bit tired and she's only just started playing golf. And I hope I've done the video okay. I hope I've done it justice for you, John. See you soon, everybody. Bye. So. That was Eddie, Anita and David. Hope you had a fantastic time while you were here. And um, I will try and do a Yorkshire tour next year. I'm going to bring Kelly up with me and do uh, a few courses and we'll get you all involved. That'd be kind of good. More about that on another another Sunday Quickie. Let's go back to what you're talking about. Okay, I think that's it for now. Oh, we're still looking um, for details about where to go and play for the Cream Tea Cup next year. Uh, we're looking for a golf club with some kind of hotel and spa set up as well either in Cornwall or Devon or kind of around the border area so if you've got any ideas about where that could be let us know and we'll contact various ones and then we'll organize where it's going to be and uh, once we know where that is we can sort a time out and then we can get all the details out for you I think that's all it that's it for now Ella's looking waiting in his car I have no idea what it's going to be about but we're going to find out Speak soon, everybody. Please subscribe to Big Ollie Cornwall. We have now got some videos on there. I'm going to create a lot more over the next few weeks. Um, hopefully that'll be a lot of fun too. Give you a bigger insight into our life here in this beautiful part of the world. Bye, everybody. Speak soon. Stay safe. Play well.